good afternoon. You must be probably wondering what I am doing here. There we had, when ever since I was here, I saw a marketer, I also saw a machine maker, and I think to bid adieu, said, it's quite fixing and very fitting. It's a melody, right? I hope you agree. <laughs> and I also do agree that I won't probably, you know, rest you peace or make you rest in peace and, you know, make you slumber there or sleep away. I'm very sure I won't do that. You can join along with me. But before I start, I thought I would like to share a few of so-called some kind of an experience, maybe. I don't think I'm that old enough to say too much of experience, but still, certain experiences that I have, that I cherish, and that makes my viewpoints, for you to think that I am fit to stand here as a youth achiever or whatever in your own labels, I don't know how I fit in here, but still, I do fit in many kind of corporate such, you know, events. Quite a lot of all these corporate guys think that I'm an achiever, I don't know why. So, let me be very frank, ever since I've been eight years old, I've been known mostly as Violin Adra in Kerala rather than Adra. I don't know how the surname got fit in as a postfix either. So, my experience with life, I would say with violin, I would love to sh share here. And I think certain things have moved me, certain things have affirmed certain beliefs for me, certain values, and certain Situations in life, when you are out in the world, just with a musical instrument, you tend to meet, you tend to reach out without you knowing it. You tend to reach out beyond the barriers of language, beyond the barriers of culture, just because of seven notes. And that is probably really great, you know, you enjoy it. So I would love to share some stuff. For example, it's immense pleasure that I'm here, and this is for me another venue another audience, another culture, another group of people out there. And I don't know why you think I'm fit for here. And for me, life has been amazingly enriching experience so far. I would love to cite certain things that I felt, which you can also ponder about. There was this concert series in Kasakh, Kazakhstan, which could be like, I was a ninth standard student and I don't know Russian, I don't know any local flavor language of Kazakh, and I am there representing India for one international festival of music there happening. And uh, there is one big auditorium, and after the concert, the backstage experience was something for me soul-stirring. More than the music, what I felt was, there was this duo, the mother and daughter, like small kids. So, the lady was clutching the kid close to her heart. When she came backstage, she said, I'm an immigrant. And I'm an immigrant from two warring communities across the globe, very famed warring communities. You can check your brains right now, take these out there, take these in the making. It's a Palestinian you know, problem. So they are immigrants from there, the mother and the kid. And she lost her husband. She lost her two or her other kids. And just, you know, the, the eldest, I mean, the youngest kid and then the mother. And she was like, I landed up here because that was the venue for world music. And so she said, See, I landed up here not to listen to music. I neither landed up here not to see people from different countries. No. For me, music is curing my pain of separation. That was one moment. That was a moment which redefined what is music for me. Now come back. Thank you. I feel those claps should be for her, that mother, you know. She made me realize certain things that I never thought a string instrument could do. There is another thing. My dad always thought that the best thing that you could do with violin is reach out to public, reach out to people, reach out to, you know, to the world with the music. And he also felt that there is something called a bit of social responsibility beyond. And he made me start doing kind of, you know, free concerts for, you know, mental hospitals, 
cancer centers and Cheshire homes, places like this, here again. This was his concert for cancer center, which is in Chennai, very famous. And uh, my audience, like you, literally some say about 100, 150, making the audience, but everyone had one difference. They were all cancer patients. That was the 11th stage. Many of them couldn't even have the permission to land up there. It was their last wish to make sure that they at least attend one concert, so they had to. So imagine your situation out there. You're facing a crowd who thought tomorrow, day after tomorrow is your death. And there was this lady, I would say she must be my age, nothing more, nothing less. And she was there after our performance. We just, we, I have a band, so we were playing some of our own compositions. So uh, after the concert, she came backstage and she said, believe me, I don't have anything to thank you for, but for at least for those 15 minutes, I could forget my pain. I could forget all that was hurting me because of all that chemotherapies. That is another redefinition for music for me. <laughs> Actually, I can go on, but I'm much better speaker with my violin. I don't know how you are enduring it. I'll tell you about two more in incidences. One happened again back in Russia. There we have this culture of gypsies. Those people are totally living, you know, happily and abandoned to the world. They live in their caravans. They forget about all the materialistic wants. The only thing they want is make money, enjoy life, play your instrument, keep going. So I still remember he's brought my, this old gypsy out there. When all of us are worrying about what is tomorrow's meal, because, you know, for Indians there, we, we suffered a lot with the language problem. We were getting lot of other things, you know, in our palate, which was never palatable. And many times staring into the food, thinking whether this was food or something else. So it happens, obviously. And he was like broadly smiling. So that is also one abandon which comes from music. Because he's an astounding instrumentalist out there playing. And he's making merry life. He didn't know where he'll get next day's food. He didn't know get where he's going to sleep. He didn't know where what's going to happen for tomorrow. So that's, again, something that comes from music. That total fearless, that careless life, that penchant for passion, that's another redefinition. And coming back, one more, don't clap now, I'm not going to end. There is something called what we take for granted, right? Take it for granted. I have a dad, I have a mother, I have this audience before me, I'm taking you also for granted. I'm also taking the TED for granted that you thought about inviting me and I'm landing up here and I'm blabbering here. And <laughs> there are certain things that we may take granted, but the value will be much more. That was taught to me by one eight-year-old kid. Again, that was an orphanage. That is in Germany, where the kid was, where there is a small gathering around you. You don't have a podium, you don't have a stage, anything of that sort. You're just playing to them. And uh, there was this perfect silence because the introduction was made in English, and none of them understood English, and neither we understood the way they were speaking English. So it was totally, you know, like um, chaotic. I didn't know what they were introducing about me, neither the kids knew. So they were just closing their eyes and listening to the music. And one kid came back after the show. So we normally get different kind of appreciation. Wow, great. No, no, you didn't play great. All these things will come back. So this kid, she hold in my hand. She didn't know how to, you know, obviously she was German and she didn't know English. She didn't know how to convey what she felt. But she said something, see, from music, I always feel that my mother is near me. I listen to music because I feel the care of my mother near me. So what do you think music is? I come back to that question every day, every fine morning when I land up, I would say when I get up and land up with my violin, I keep wondering, where am I wondering? Where am I, where am I heading on with the music? Where am I reaching out to? So that's music to me. It is many times beyond barriers, many times beyond languages, many times beyond cultures. How much ever we try to make people understand certain things, still there are certain forces that will bind. One is love, one is music, one is sports. All these things don't need much package. So my idea I truly believe in is that music is one of the finest balms out there for a hurt heart, for a, for a painful heart.
but for a painful person who endured a lot of pain, who went through a lot of hurt, who is devoid of many things. They can forget for at least for those 15 minutes, for that for only for maybe two hours, they could forget quite a lot. And I think that moments are very valuable. And so my idea, I don't have a separately one new idea like the past speaker who very beautifully said that, you know, no one can be different in their jobs. Very true. What will you do differently every day? I don't know. Who knows? So my idea is just this much. That is, many times there is a tendency amongst parents that we curb, we cut down that sprouting creative talent in a kid. Let that flourish, let that flourish, and that will be one of the finest bombs to this chaotic world. Let that talent be nourished. That's my idea. Thank you so much. His Excellency Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, sir. He invited me for his birthday celebrations. And uh, we gave an entire classical concert. And towards the end, he asked me, Adra, play something of your composition. Come on, come on, let me listen to your creativity. And I ended up cooking up something on there, live on stage. And we termed it Ganga. That piece, I think you'll enjoy. And you're going to not sit there and rest in peace, I'm very sure. At least towards the end, come out, clap, enjoy, get up on your feet, and dance along. Thank you.
going to dance for that, but it's the quick stuff. Um, it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In that beat, if you can dance, great. Otherwise, <laughs>